She mm -hmm. recently returned to Chicago after finding a massive meteorite in the Antarctic. It weighs nearly 17 pounds and could hold secrets about the beginning of our solar system. Antarctica is the world's southernmost continent. It is also the driest, windiest, coldest, and iciest continent in the world. And yet the continent is home to numerous discoveries. Join us as we look at 20 things they found in Antarctica that no one was supposed to see. 20. 17-pound meteorite. During a trip to Antarctica's icy plains, an international team of researchers discovered five new meteorites, including one of the largest ever discovered on the continent. The meteorite is roughly the size of a cantaloupe and weighs 17 pounds. The specimen is one of only about 100 of its kind discovered in Antarctica, a prime meteorite hunting ground where over 45,000 space rocks have been discovered. The extraordinary find is now on its way to the Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Sciences in Brussels, where it will be studied. Meteor Meteorites are used by scientists to study the origin and evolution of the solar system using chemical methods. Strong acids are used to dissolve samples before using a process known as calibrated chemistry to isolate the various elements that make up the rock. Then, experts can consider the rock's origin, evolution over time, what kind of parent body it came from, and where in the solar system that parent body formed. These are the big questions that experts try to answer. 19. Ancient Landscape Preserved Beneath Ice Sheet The ancient river-carved terrain beneath East Antarctica's undulating ice sheet provides a stunning image of the region before glaciers blanketed the continent. Even though most of the land buried beneath the ice sheet has been destroyed over millennia by moving masses of ice, satellite data suggests that a patch next to the Aurora and Schmidt subglacial basins has remained essentially undisturbed for up to 34 million years. However, it's unclear whether the terrain has remained fully unchanged for 34 million years. Warming that occurred in sections of East Antarctica until around 14 million years ago may have caused some of the ice above it to melt. Understanding what lurks beneath the East Antarctic ice sheet will ultimately aid academics in forecasting its oscillations in a warming world. 18. World's Biggest Iceberg Escapes A23A, the world's largest iceberg, is on the move after being stuck off Antarctica's coast for nearly 40 years. The massive ice island, which is three times the size of New York City, is anticipated to drift toward the iceberg graveyard, potentially colliding with a crucial penguin habitat before breaking up and melting away. The iceberg, which covers around 1,550 square miles, was formed in 1986 when it calved from the Filchner ice shelf. However, the huge block of ice became stranded shortly after its submerged keel became snagged on the seafloor. A23A has held the title of the world's largest iceberg on several occasions as other, more gigantic ice slabs came and went as it stood in place. 17. A Hidden World A never-before-seen ecosystem lurks deep beneath Antarctica's icy surface in an underground river. This hidden world was recently revealed by researchers, who discovered a dark and jagged cavern teeming with swarms of tiny, shrimp-like creatures. Scientists discovered the hidden subterranean habitat beneath the Larsen ice shelf that famously gave birth to the world's largest iceberg in 2021. Satellite images revealed an unusual groove in the ice shelf near where it met the land, which researchers identified as a subsurface river. To reach the underground chamber, the team drilled around 1,640 feet below the ice's surface. When the researchers sent a camera down the icy tunnel and into the cavern, the video feed was obscured by hundreds of tiny, blurry flecks in the water. They discovered the lens was being swarmed by tiny crustaceans known as amphipods after refocusing the camera. This surprised the team because they had not expected to find any type of life this far beneath the icy surface. 16. River Beneath Ice Sheet A river longer than England's Thames runs beneath the Antarctic ice sheet, draining an area the size of France and Germany combined. This under-ice river was discovered using ice-penetrating radar mounted on an aircraft. A series of airborne studies revealed a river system that stretches 285 miles and drains into the Weddell Sea. The river system is located beneath four slowly flowing chunks of ice that are prone to instability if its borders retreat inland. Previous research has investigated the interaction of ice sheet margins with ocean water to understand what melting looks like. However, the finding of a river that flows hundreds of kilometers inland and drives some of these processes demonstrates that specialists cannot fully comprehend the ice melt without considering the entire system, ice sheet, ocean, and freshwater. 
15. World Largest Fish Colony Scientists on board an icebreaker in Antarctica were astounded to discover a horde of 60 million ice fish nests on the Weddell Sea seabed. The abundance of nurseries, each guarded by a ghostly-looking parent, constitutes the world's largest known fish breeding colony. On the camera stream, specialists saw fish nests pockmarking the seafloor every 10 inches in all directions. The nests were little bowls carved in the mud on the bottom by notothenioid icefish, which are native to the cold southern waters. They are the only vertebrates that lack hemoglobin in their blood. Because of this, icefish are referred to be white-blooded. In addition to living fish-defending nests, the researchers discovered that the region was filled with fish carcasses, indicating that this enormous icefish colony is an important element of the local ecosystem, most likely acting as prey for Weddell seals. 14. Statue of Lenin Global rivalry and the pursuit of science have motivated humans to perform odd exploits. A prime example is a statue of Russian revolutionary Vladimir Lenin left in the most distant and freezing location on Earth. The bronze Lenin figure rests amid what is now Australia's claim to Antarctic territory. At 82 degrees south of the equator, it is mathematically the least accessible spot on the entire planet. Explorers refer to the Hole of Inaccessibility as the point on the Antarctic continent that is the furthest from the sea in all directions. The distance is about 2,000 kilometers. It's more than 850 kilometers from the geographic south. Getting there at all is a difficult journey, let alone hauling a solid bronze bust the size of a human. 13. Ghost Yacht Have you ever heard the story of the ghost yacht that sank in the ice and then resurfaced? Owned by a well-known Brazilian journalist and businessman, João Lara Mesquita, the yacht had four people on board when it sank. The crew was recording a documentary off the Antarctic coast when a strong wind of about 100 kilometers per hour seized the boat and pushed it into the ice. The crewman, trapped in frigid weather, radioed a mayday, which was received by the Chilean Navy at the Bahia Fildes outpost in Antarctica. All four researchers were saved, although poor weather pushed the procedure back a few days. The waves were high and the wind was blowing mercilessly. The evacuation was highly perilous, as waves of about 2 meters and 40 knot gusts struck the boat. When the Chilean Navy boat approached, the documentary filmmakers stepped aboard and were finally secure. Everything went smoothly for the folks, except for the yacht, who was unable to recover. The freezing water that penetrated the hull froze, swelling and sinking the yacht to the bottom of the tiny bay, which was only 10 meters deep. The boat could be seen from above for a year, beginning in early 2013. Owner Joao Lara Mesquita returned to the position and sent down divers to wrap the hull with suspenders tied to inflatable buoys on either side, depending on weather conditions. The buoys were inflated by slowly lifting the yacht, which had been submerged for nearly a year. When the boat resurfaced, towing operations began to the shore, where the researchers recovered their equipment. The maximum insurance coverage was only $700,000, which was too small an amount to fix all the ship's underwater damage throughout the course of the year. 12. Pyramid-like mountain An Antarctic mountain with a unique pyramid-like shape has gone viral, with countless theorists debating its origin. Some speculate that the rocky, pyramidal structure was built by an ancient civilization. Those steep, pyramid-like sides are most likely the result of erosion over hundreds of millions of years. According to many experts, this is just a mountain that resembles a pyramid. Pyramid shapes are not impossible. Many peaks have partial pyramid shapes. The Pyramidal Mountain, which has no formal name, is one of the many peaks that comprise Antarctica's Ellsworth Mountains. This freeze-thaw erosion occurs on a regular basis, resulting in the formation of larger cracks that can eventually cause entire rock sections to break off. These forces are also thought to have shaped other pyramidal mountains, such as the Matterhorn in the Alps. To put it another way, the nameless mountain is most likely all in one rock layer. Thumbnail. In our thumbnail, we can see what looks like a rock formation at the top of a cliff, as if it were built by human beings. It does not look like a natural formation, but then again, I'm no expert. Let us know what you think it is in the comments below. 11. Centuries-old fruitcake. Conservators seeking to preserve items in the oldest structures ever built in Antarctica discovered something extraordinary. A completely preserved 106-year-old fruitcake. No, the cake is not an indication that Santa Claus is from the South Pole. Rather, it is most likely a leftover from Robert Falcon Scott's ill-fated 1910-1913 Terra Nova expedition, in which the explorer attempted to be the first to reach the geographic South Pole. The cake was one of roughly 1,500 objects recovered from buildings constructed at Cape Adair, Antarctica in 1899. The cake was discovered in a tin from Baker's Huntley and Palmer's. While the tin deteriorated, the cake remained intact and wrapped in wax paper. There was a little rotten butter odor, but otherwise the cake seemed and smelled edible. There is no doubt that Antarctica's harsh cold helped its preservation. 10. Mysterious Man-Made Cave A mysterious hole in Antarctica has prompted widespread speculation, 
ranging from a top-secret military outpost to an ancient civilization. The origin of the strange opening in Antarctica remains unknown after the cave appeared unexpectedly in 2007 and vanished from Google Maps six months later. Third phase from the moon, a Conspiracy Theories YouTube channel, discovered the odd cave. The sighting occurred on Greenwich Island, one of Antarctica's southernmost islands. Blake Cousins, who runs the Conspiracy Theorist channel, stated that the strange clip could reveal it's an entrance to a hollow earth exposed on Google Maps. At the time, the cave measured 74 feet tall and 249 feet broad. This suggests that the cave could potentially accommodate hundreds, if not thousands, of people. Could it be a natural occurrence, such as a snow avalanche that buried the cave? People also pondered if climate change could have melted the ice around the cave. There also seemed to be a staircase leading to the cave. It's big enough for spacecraft and flying saucers or even assets of the US military to fly into this massive opening. Is this a base? Something man-made? There's no indication it is a sinkhole. What do you think it is? 9. World's Loneliest ATM Despite the cold temperatures, irritable elephant seals, and months of eternal darkness, Antarctica is a place where money is important. That's where Wells Fargo steps in. In 1998, the banking conglomerate built an automatic teller machine at McMurdo Station, the continent's largest science hub. McMurdo's population varies by season, ranging from 250 to more than 1,000. And like any tiny village, trade is essential. Money is traded in a closed economy when visiting coffee shops, general stores, taverns, or the post office. Some establishments only accept cash, while others need a credit card minimum that is difficult to reach when you only need a few products. Naturally, we questioned what would happen if someone lost their mind and had the financial wherewithal to exceed their daily withdrawal limit, depleting the ATM's cash reserves and destroying an entire continent's economy. For security concerns, the bank was unable to disclose how much cash was in the machine or other relevant information, but anyone considering any type of criminal activity should be aware that the unit contains a camera. 8. Ernest Shackleton's Shipwreck The lost ship of Anglo-Irish explorer Ernest Shackleton, which sank to the depths of the Weddell Sea off the coast of Antarctica, has been discovered more than a century later. In 1915, the Endurance became stranded in strong pack ice, forcing Shackleton and his crew to undertake an incredible escape. Now, 107 years later, the wooden vessel has been discovered and is nearly undamaged. It's incredible how the ship's name can still be visible engraved across the stern. Apparently, the Weddell Sea's cold temperatures would have played a key role in preserving the ship. 7. Bizarre Creatures During an interesting tour through Antarctica's surrounding seas, scientists spotted several unusual species beneath the ice that were like nothing they'd seen before. The nets brought back a variety of strange-looking critters, which surprised the scientists. Floating ice shelves are the greatest undiscovered ecosystems in the Southern Ocean. They cover more than 1.5 million square kilometers of the Antarctic continental shelf, but only a small portion, about the size of a tennis court, have been examined through eight prior perforations. In many ways, the bottom of that ocean is more mysterious than the surface of Mars. 6. Brinical Ice Brinicles, also known as ice stalactites, are ice structures that build from the ocean's surface to its depths. They frequently seem like underwater tornadoes and are commonly created in the icy Antarctic waters. They are only found in the polar parts of the globe. They are also known as icy fingers of death because they can imprison sea creatures as soon as they hit the seafloor. Brinicles are remarkable because they are structurally sensitive and even the smallest touch can break them. However, when this tiny ice finger reaches the seabed, it can easily trap aquatic life, creating what experts refer to as black pools of death. 5. Blood Waterfall Blood Falls is an outflow of an iron oxide-tainted plume of salt water that flows from Taylor Glacier's tongue to the ice-covered surface of Westlake Bonnie in Taylor Valley of the McMurdo Dry Valleys in Victoria Land, East Antarctica. Iron-rich hypersaline water occasionally escapes from minor breaches in the ice cascades. The saltwater source is a subglacial pool of unknown size, surrounded by around 1,300 feet of ice several miles from its modest outlet at Blood Falls. Thomas Griffith Taylor, an Australian geologist, discovered the reddish deposit in 1911 while exploring the valley that bears his name. The Antarctic pioneers initially attributed the red tint to red algae, but it was subsequently shown to be because of iron oxides. 4. Mummified Penguins On a dry, windy cape in southern Antarctica, the ground is littered with mummified penguins. The rocks around them are littered with bones, pebbles, and guano stains, the telltale signs of a recently abandoned Adelie penguin colony. 
Scenes like this are frequent in Antarctica's Ross Sea, which is home to millions of Adelies and other healthy penguin populations. Nonetheless, biologists who visited Cape Irizar in January 2016 were perplexed by what they saw. They were aware that Adelie penguins had not been seen there in hundreds of years. Where had the bones of this ghostly community suddenly appeared? A radiocarbon examination of bones, eggshells, and mummified skin samples found at the site revealed that the seemingly fresh penguin remains at Cape Irizar were hundreds to thousands of years old. The site has been occupied by breeding penguin colonies at least three times in the last 5,000 years, but evidence of those occupations has only recently surfaced because of increased fast snowmelt during Antarctica's ever hotter summer months. 3. 400-foot ice ship A Google Earth user discovered what he claims is a 400-feet ice ship sitting in an iceberg around 100 miles off the coast of Antarctica. The massive ice edifice was discovered on Google Earth south of New Zealand and bears a striking resemblance to a cruise liner, complete with a line of windows and numerous chimneys. The discovery has generated a slew of conspiracy theories among those who believe there is something buried in the frozen continent with everything from a secret Nazi base to an ancient civilization being proposed as explanations. The video has now been viewed by over 46,000 people, and it's not about to stop because everyone has an opinion. 2. Antarctica Mystery Base Antarctica is a large, mostly frozen location where the wind blows a lot, it snows and it thaws occasionally, water expands when it freezes, and ice that is over water can crack, forming unique patterns. Google Maps and similar services are not real-time graphics, but they may be changed without warning, displaying changes that are years apart. There are also things going on in Antarctica that receive little attention, and sometimes people can't be bothered to find out what they are, but that doesn't make them secret any more than it is secret that I just ate a ham and cheese sandwich. In this video, we can see a clear opening that leads to somewhere. Many conspiracy theorists online have called it a mystery base of some kind, while others have claimed it is a research lab. It's difficult to tell by just watching the video, so I guess people, mostly conspiracy theorists, will continue to speculate. 1. Rectangle Iceberg The iceberg in this video may appear to be a large block of vanilla ice cream, but it is not. It is, in fact, a completely rectangle-shaped iceberg in Antarctica that is one mile across. NASA scientists just took this beautiful shot off the coast of the Antarctic Peninsula, near the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf. NASA scientists posted the image on Twitter, and it became global in hours. Weirdly, rectangular icebergs are not that unusual. The tabular iceberg can be seen drifting on the sea ice near the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf. The iceberg's crisp angles and smooth surface indicate that it was recently calved from the ice shelf. A trillion-ton iceberg, four times the size of London, began whirling some time ago and eventually broke loose from the ice. Another iceberg, A68, has broken off Antarctica's Larsen Sea Ice Shelf. Nonetheless, it remained stuck near the ice shelf. According to scientists, these icebergs will not stop traveling so easily, and more geometrically shaped pieces will most likely appear in the next years. It's fascinating to see how much action there is in Antarctica as nature transforms daily. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thank you for watching and see you next time.